Hello everyone, this is Manator Prime, and this time I will review the Transformer Generations figure, Giaxus, that was released in the year 2014. As we can see, this figure can't transform in his robot mode, and this is a really cool figure, I can wait until I get it out of the packaging. We can also see the 30th anniversary logo right here of the Transformers, and a copy of the cover of the IDW comic book that comes included. And this is what the packaging looks from the backside view. We get to see two more pictures of Giaxus transforming his robot mode and into his alternative mode, which is a really cool jet fighter. We can also see right here the technical data, and I'm going to show you the bios of this figure. Now, I'm sure that you can pause this video and you can read it later on, or whenever you have some time. Now, let's get this figure out of the packaging. And here we have Giaxus out of the packaging. Giaxus is a character from the Transformer Generation 1 family. In the Marvel comics from the 80s, he was a member of the Cybertronian Empire and had a desire to forge a new united Cybertronian civilization across the universe. And to him, the only way to accomplish this is by destroying the Autobots and Decepticons. As you know, this figure is a repaint and retool of Generations Armada Starscream, featuring a newly designed torso, wings and a new head sculpt. The paint scheme applied to this figure is actually really nice. I really like the bright orange and gray colors. I think it's a really nice combination. This is what it looks like from the backside view. Now I'm gonna bring this closer to the camera so you can actually see the newly designed head sculpt, which has a lot of details. We can actually see the eyes, nose and mouth of this figure and right here it seems like some kind of like breathing device. We can see this entire section was redesigned and in my opinion it looks just great. We can also see that the wings of this figure have a new design compared to the Armada Starscream figure which I will be bringing in a little bit and this is what G-Axis looks from the backside view. Now I'm going to rotate it around real quick and actually this figure kept the original gimmick of the Armada Generation Starscream which is this section right here and these are push to release missile launchers you can actually move all the way up just like so if you want you can display this figure this way or you can fold it down the way it was now to release the missile launchers there's actually no spring or anything like that all you have to do is push this section all the way forward to release the missiles and by the way this section right here is actually made out of a clear plastic and I think it looks just great. Now I'm going to fold this down again. Now I'm going to show you the weapons that came with this figure. And these are the weapons right here. There are actually two guns. And they're painted just one color, which is great. However, they look awesome. They have a lot of details. And I really like them. Now I'm going to show you what G-Axis looks like while he's holding up these weapons. And this is a really cool figure. I'm actually very impressed. I really like the new head sculpt that was designed for this figure. All of the changes that were done to this mold makes it look great and it has a lot of details. Now the other option about this figure is that if you don't want to display G-Axis this way holding up his weapons, what you can do is uh, you can actually peg these weapons right over here but before I show you that, I want to mention that there's a connector right here and at first I was actually thinking that we were going to be able to plug this right in here. However, that doesn't seem to be the case because I have tried and it wouldn't fit. But you can also plug this in right here on the wings if you want to display your figure this way. Which I think is a really cool option, you know. If you don't like to keep your weapons around and stuff like that, you can actually plug this in right here on the wings. And they fit perfectly, you know. They're very secure. Now, I'm going to show you the articulation for this figure. I'm going to start with the head sculpt, which can be moved up and down. And it's actually on a ball joint. We can also rotate it 360 degrees without any issues. The articulation for the arms of this figure is good. We can see that we can extend the arm all the way to the side. And one thing about this, uh, the arm articulation is that it is very hard to rotate this 360 degrees and that's thanks to these wings right here. But we do have a swivel right here which allows us to rotate the arm 360 degrees as you can see right here. And the elbow articulation is really good. The design of the feet is okay, it doesn't really have any articulation other than this one right here which is uh, for transformation purposes. This figure also does not have any kind of waist articulation, however the articulation of the legs is really good. We can see that they're on a ball joint and they can be moved up and down, front and back and it looks just awesome. 
Now there's a swivel right here and we can rotate this 360 degrees without any issues. The articulation for the knee is all the way up to 90 degrees and the design of the feet is actually really good and it's thanks to this little piece right here that this figure doesn't have any issues standing as you can see. So we can actually say that the design of this figure is really good. Now I'm gonna bring some other figures from my collection for a quick size comparison. And for this first size comparison, here I have Giaxus right next to the Transformers Generations Armada Starscream figure. As you know, Giaxus is a retool and repaint of this figure right here, but it has been heavily modified. Now I'm gonna bring them closer to the camera so we can see more of the difference, especially right here on the chest section. This section right here on Giaxus has been entirely modified, and in my opinion, it looks just great. Now I'm gonna turn them around so we can see the difference between the wings, and the design of the wings of Starscream is cool. However, I prefer the design of the wings of Giaxus. Now, as you can see, these two figures are exactly about the same size, and they both look really cool. Now, I'm gonna move Armada Starscream out of the way, because for this size comparison, here I have Giaxus right next to Windblade, which was released not too long ago, and honestly, it's a really cool figure, and hopefully, I'll have some time soon to make a video review. Now, let's move these figures front to front, and again, we can see that these two figures are just about the same size, and this is what they look like from the backside view. Again, this figure right here, Windblade, is a really cool figure, and I'm looking forward to review it. Now, let's move her out of the way. And for this size comparison, here I have Giaxus right next to the Follow Cybertron figure, Skywarp, and this is actually the Takara version. Now, I'm gonna move them front to front, and as we can see, these two figures are almost just about the same size. Now, I'm gonna rotate them around so we can see the backside view of these two figures, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I really think that it was a great idea to use this mold and turn it into Giaxus. Now let's move Skywarp out of the way. And now it's time to transform this figure into his vehicle mode. The transformation process is very simple, especially if you already own the Transformers Generations Armada Starscream figure. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the fist right into this section right here and I'm gonna straight out the arms. Now this section right here we're gonna fold it down just like so and we're gonna rotate the legs this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this section all the way up just like so and we're going to fold this entire section all the way up. Now we're going to fold this head just like so and now I'm going to work with the legs which are going to be folded this way and like I said the transformation process for this figure is very simple and it doesn't really take a lot of time. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the wings which is the simplest thing on this figure. Now we're going to fold this up and there's a little tab right here which is going to attach right over here so we're going to fold this up just like so and make sure that it pegs properly I'm going to do the exact same thing right here with the other wing and that pretty much is the entire transformation for this figure now there's also a landing gear which I'm going to show you real quick which is right here and here we have Giaxus vehicle mode and here I have Giaxus transformed into his vehicle mode which is a fighter jet as you can see this figure looks awesome transformed into this vehicle mode and as you know, this is a retool and repaint of the figure Generations Armada Starscream, which I'm going to bring in a little bit, just to point out some of the difference once they're both transformed into their alternative mode. Now I'm going to show you the details of this figure, and I'm going to start with the colors applied to this figure. The paint scheme is just fantastic. I really like the gray and bright orange combination. It looks just great. We can see more details sculpted right here on the canopy section or the front section of the jet. Actually, this entire section was modified, and it looks just awesome. Now I'm going to show you the wings of this figure, uh, they feature a new sculpt and they have a lot of details. The paint job applied to the wings looks great. We can actually see two Decepticon logos, one on each side of the wings. I also want to show you this section right here which is the weapons of this figure and this is actually a push to release missile launcher. It doesn't have any springs or anything like that and if you want to use this gimmick all you have to do is push this section all the way up or all the way towards the front in order to release the missiles. Now I want to know that this section right here is actually made out of a clear plastic and in my opinion it looks just fantastic. This figure is great in his robot mode and in his vehicle mode. Now this is what the under section looks from this uh, vehicle mode and we can see more details right here and like I said before this figure actually comes with two weapons and they can be attached right here on the wings and I think it's a really cool option because it makes this figure look so much better but if you don't want to do that, you can also take this off, you know, and just display your figure this way if you want to. 
but for me I'm just gonna keep the weapons right here under the wings now I also wanna show you this section right here which is the landing gear and this is a really cool landing gear actually they took the time and effort to paint the wheels a different color and note that I say wheels but they're actually not wheels it's uh, all of this is actually plastic it's just one piece it doesn't rotate or anything like that but with the paint job applied it looks better this way now this section right here as you know is made out of a soft plastic and it can be bended down but this is for uh, transformation purposes and for this size comparison here I have Giaxus right next to the Transformers Generations Armada Starscream figure as you can see these two figures look really cool and they feature a very similar design now I'm gonna bring them closer to the camera because I wanna point out the main difference between these two figures the first difference as we can see is the design of the wings these wings look awesome I really like the design of the wings of Starstream but honestly I like the design of the wings of Giaxus a lot more the other difference between these two figures is obviously the canopy this one right here Giaxus was totally modified and it looks just awesome we can see it has a lot of details now I'm gonna show you the bottom view or the underside view of these two figures and we can see that other difference when they uh, gave us this new set of wings we are not able to get the source of course but instead of that we got these two little weapons now I'm gonna move Starstream out of the way now for this size comparison here I have Jetfire from the Cybertron Con 2013 right next to Giaxus and the only reason why I'm bringing this figure is just to give you a better idea of the size of Giaxus vehicle mode as you know this is the Voyager class Jetfire now I'm gonna bring them closer to the camera so you have a better idea of the size difference and here you have it so Giaxus vehicle mode is not that large now let's move Jetfire out of the way and for our final size comparison here I have Giaxus right next to the 2013 Botcom exclusive figure Starscream now I'm gonna move these figures front to front just to give you a better idea of the size of Giaxus vehicle mode again we can see that the vehicle mode of Giaxus is not that big and here we have a better size comparison of these two figures now I'm gonna move Starscream out of the way now after seeing Giaxus transform into his robot mode and into his fighter jet mode I want to say that this is a really cool figure the color scheme looks great and it has a lot of details all of the changes that were done to this mold makes it look great I really like the new head sculpt that was designed for this figure and I'm very glad to have this figure in my collection with this I conclude this video review of the Transformers Generations figure Giaxus this is Magnetor Prime thank you for watching until next time if you like this Transformers video review you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Magnetor Prime or stop by my Facebook page Magnetar Prime Reviews. This is Magnetar Prime. Until next time.